Hey guys, welcome to my first Blender tutorial. So this is going to be for people who are f very new to Blender, who've actually never used Blender. So I'm going to start you out from the beginnings, uh, extruding faces, doing bevels, creating modular assets for games. Uh, so let's start out. We're going to actually select with right click and this is obviously just the beginning window of blender so when you first open blender this is what you see the spacebar is going to be search okay and i'm just going to hit save new settings then i'm just going to click in this viewport here and we've got a block here to begin with and i'm just holding down the middle mouse button to move around so just get used to that holding middle mouse button if I left click anywhere within the viewport, it's going to actually place in a cursor. Now this cursor, if I hit shift and A, I want you to follow along with this by the way. Hit shift then A. Go mesh, cube. And it's added in a cube exactly where the cursor is. So that's what that left click is for. It's just adding new objects. Shift A, mesh, cube. So we've got three cubes there. Now if we hit X, It'll say OK, delete. You just click click on delete. Now to select a block, we right click. So because we set that to right click, uh, that's just what I'm accustomed to. You don't have to do it that way. It's just how Blender used to work, or you know the <clears throat> the uh, the way that it always worked was right click. So I'm just used to that. Uh, X delete. Okay, so we're just going to start with this first cube. Now, if I press Alt plus Z, this cube will go see-through. Now, if I press Tab, it's going to take us into edit mode. Okay, so Alt Z to see-through, and then we're just going to hit Tab, and then we can just right-click on these. You know, so I'm just circling around. So I just want you to get used to circling around the object first thing and then right click to select a vertice. Now if you hit G on the keyboard you'll be able to move your mouse and it's going to move that vertice wherever you want it to go. If you press G again it's going to move that vertice along the edge. Along whatever edge you're moving your mouse towards. Okay and hit right click and it's just going to bring it back to where it was. It's going to just undo that action. So the first thing we're going to do is actually click on the face tool up here, see in the, in the viewport up here at, at the, the, the top. So we're just going to select face setting and then you'll see the dots as you look around again. I want you to get used to this looking around the object. You see the dots there for each face. And we're just going to select the top face. I'm going to press E and then I'm going to type 0.1 and hit enter. Okay, so you've done a mathematical extrude of 0 0.1 meters. Okay, and the height of that cube was actually 2 meters. So that's 10 centimeters you've just extruded at the top. Okay, so if we hit S, it's going to scale this. Okay, so it's, it's just scaling it. So we go uh, 0 0.8, hit enter. So you've and now hit Alt Z. So you've just scaled that at 0 0.8. So one would have been a scale of one to one. So it would have been the same width there as the next lot of edges, just under the top. Okay. So 0 0.8 left at a gap of say, uh, you know, 20 centimeters from the edge there. Okay. Now I just want you to get used to using numbers because it can make your life a lot easier. Um, but you can, you could have just you know hit S and then we, we could just eyeball it. You know sometimes I do that as well. But I just use numbers just in case I wanted to do quickly the same down here. So zero point two. So I pressed E then zero point two then scale zero point eight. So see, I didn't have to use a mirror modifier, which I'm going to show in this lesson possibly, but we've done exactly the same for down the bottom. 
well no we haven't because the extrude was 0.2 instead of 0.1 <laughs> so I'm going to hit extrude 0 0.1 scale 0 0.8 and we've got it exactly the same as the top there which is wonderful okay next thing I'm going to show you is um, this up here in the in the right hand side of this viewport viewport shading method to display in 3d view material preview so we don't want that at the moment we don't have a material applied viewport shading rendered no we don't want that so we're going to leave it here uh, on solid so it's just going to show the objects without any materials applied which is what we want but if we hit this drop down here it's there's there's some options with lighting now if we hit matte cap it's just going to give us a bit of a different look here it's going to add a, a, a bit of a rendered uh, you know texturing uh, rendered material uh, see the lights bouncing so if we click shadow and then click cavity so the cavity is going to give it a bit of a you know silver or whitish sort of outline on the edges there and then also the uh, the shadow it just adds a bit of depth to all the edges and the objects themselves so you know that's rule of thumb for me I just hit this drop down hit matte cap then I hit shadow and then I hit cavity I leave them as default and it just makes modeling a bit more enjoyable for myself anyway I'm sure for you as well because you have the shadows and stuff okay so we've done a simple object here I'm gonna actually do the same but I'm going to so I'm just gonna click over here shift a click mesh then go to cube now I'm going to show you how to use some snapping tools okay so the snapping tool is actually up here where this magnet is at the top middle of the viewport and if I click that and I click on this it's going to show increment vertex edge face volume etc I normally only need to use vertex or increment okay so it's rule of thumb and you can set it to increment and to affect the scale and the rotation as well as the move so I'm gonna leave them there all selected now I want you to go to vertex <clears throat> okay so we're gonna right click on the second object we created we're gonna hit G and then we're gonna hit X so that's G is for move okay and then X is gonna move it on the X axis here now I want you to hold the mouse over this edge here and then left click see how it's lined up now perfectly with the first object okay now G and then Z we'll move it on the Z axis which is up and down axis and I want you to leave it um, just here actually here this vertice here because we're gonna have because it's it's a two by two and it was extruded top and bottom so now it's exactly where we want it now I want you to hit alt and Z so we'll go back to see through okay just checking that these objects are separate they are so if you cl right click on an object and they're both being selected at the same time um, there's a way to unjoin them and I'll show you I'll join them first I'll just do this quickly <clears throat> so I've joined so you might have added to the object and they're you, what the hell it's selecting both what's going on okay just hit tab okay and I want you to, to hold left click and then just select all these faces press P separate and then hit selection okay now you've got two separate objects okay so that was just a quick little guidance there on on how to fix that if that was an issue for you right now I'm trying to cover all the bases here alt Z we'll come back to this view now control R no nope, not yet hit tab so make sure you're in edit mode now control R is going to do a ring okay and I could scroll up I could have many many edges created or just one we want just one okay and alt Z so we'll go see through and press one on the keyboard uh, and you'll be able to go to front view or not something's happened here oh, I'm on laptops so for you number one on your keyboard on your number pad 
Okay, it's going to be front view. I've just installed this fresh, so I'm just going to make do with what I've got for now. So number one on the number pad will bring you into front view exactly. Okay, and so you'll be able to see your ring just like this, either see through or not, doesn't matter. Alt Z. Okay, we're going to select the top four vertices here. Press X, delete those vertices, then hold Alt and then right click on one of the top vertices. Okay, and then we're going to hit F. And you'll see. So we just split it in half and then we put a face on the top. Okay. We didn't need to put the face there, so I'm actually I'm actually going to delete that face. So go to face select, make sure the top one selected, hit X, delete oops delete and when you hit delete you'll have options you want to hit face okay okay so now we have a one meter tall box and I want to recreate this here and uh, you know you might be wondering why did I split it in half well it's because I want to mirror this so if you see on this right hand side you'll see a scene collection here and this is basically everything within the scene so we have a camera it's for rendering okay so when we so hit spacebar we'll type in view camera I'll show you this quickly hit enter it's going to view where the camera is now if you hit G I can move that camera around and where I have this camera is what's going to be rendered okay so I just thought I'd show that quickly so I just set up my camera a little bit for the scene um, I might actually do this properly right now. Um, sit here. It's uh, G then X, G then Z. So I'm just moving it along the X axis and the Y axis and the Z axis until I've got it about where I want it. Just there should be enough. Yeah, just there's fine. Okay, now if I hold middle mouse button, I can just move back around. To regular view now if I hold shift while I'm using middle mouse button I can move let's see I can move left or right up or down okay now if I right click on that object hit tilt you know the console button beside number one on your keyboard hit view selected then I can view that selected now I know I'm all over the place here a little bit Actually, it's my first tutorial, so do forgive me. Um, I'm just going to go with the flow. So we've got the scene collection on the right-hand side. It's all the things within the scene. We've got a light here as well, which we can move a little bit. I'll move it a little closer to the object itself. Uh, just move that over. Okay. Mirror was where we were at, and I got totally lost, so my apologies. Okay, so over here, you'll see Add Modifier it's come up because I've hit this spanner so you want to click on the spanner and this is all your modifiers so you've got a bevel edge split you know what is all this stuff uh, to begin with you just want to know how to use basically bevel boolean maybe decimate and mirror and solidify okay so there's just a few you know at the beginnings so you just want to stick to the basics you know and even I'm still towards the basics myself but I can model uh, 3d weapons things like that so I'm getting to a point where I can start to teach so what we're going to do is a mirror modifier hit mirror and I want to mirror this on the Z untick the X I want to turn on clipping I always turn on clipping and leave merge as it is it is selected okay so now we have a full box and if I hit tab and I go to vertex so just up here top left in the viewport select modes vertex so I'm going to right click on the vertex see what happens if I move up and down I can't move it up and down yeah but if I turn off clipping I'm able to move it up and down that's why I leave clipping on okay so I don't end up with holes by accident now we're going to just extrude the bottom I'll try not to make this too boring but extrude E 0 0.1 hit enter and it's doing exactly the same at the top and the bottom now if you remember we did scale 0 0.8 and then enter so we've got the same object there okay just a simple cube yeah but the reason I did the numbers on the first one 
was so that I could extrude at 0 0.1, scale at 0 0.8, and then quickly do the same down the bottom without having to use the mirror modifier, okay? That's why I do things with numbers, and you might want to do the same. So you might want to turn this into a hammer. It's starting to look like a hammer, so let's do that. Let's go back to, we'll go back to the first object, okay? And we're gonna do it this way without the mirror because we're not really gonna need it. It's this simple sort of thing at the moment. All right, so I'm gonna hit I on that face. Get that face selected. I'm gonna go 0 0.7, try that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go a bit bigger, so 0 0.8, 0 0.1. Point two. Okay, zero point two. Inset zero point two. I was thinking it was like the scale, but never mind. So extrude E, and then we'll go. We'll just try different numbers. Extrude ten. Extrude. Just find a number that works for you. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You could just. Uh, do it your own way and just, you know, move the mouse, hit click, about there is good enough. Okay, that's fine. Now I want to extrude one of these faces, so I'm going to select that top face there. Okay, and I'm just going to extrude that. <clears throat> now this is not going to be the prettiest object, but I'm just getting you used to it. So if we select edge here, and then alt, and then right click, then hit control plus B, we're going to bevel. Okay, so we're just beveling that one edge, but I want to select the, all these edges. Uh, technically, holding Alt and right-clicking there should have selected every edge. I'm not sure why it's not, but just select every edge at the top by holding Shift and right-clicking all the edges. Now, Control B is going to bevel, and I'm going to go up 0 0.2 and hit Enter. Okay, that's fine. So we've I mean, I'm just going to get rid of this second object. So we're just going to X delete. Okay, so I'm starting to build a bit of a, a hammer. Okay, now what I want to do is bevel these edges as well. So, you know, I'm just going to select all of those Alt Z, see through, select all these, Control B. Now I'm just going to do this one by visual and if I mouse scroll up, I can do this a few times. We'll, we'll go a little bit of a higher poly on this. So I've got four edges coming up and just left click, Alt Z, and then tab, it's back to object mode. Now something's happened here, so we have to work out what has actually happened on that right hand side there. Uh, something funky's going on. I'm not sure if that's a blender thing or a me thing, but let's work out. I'm going to go control Z. Yes, it was something that I did there. See, I selected an extra face, an extra edge, I should say. Now I want to deselect that. So I held shift and then I right clicked and that deselected. So now control B, I'll go back to where I was. Now I've got to catch up to where you're at probably. So here we've done some bevels, right? We've done bevels around all these edges here. We've done bevels at the top. Just a simple one, one bevel. <coughs> now hit tab. Now you could just, you know, spend some time looking around, see what else you could do with this. But it's just a basic beginner's tutorial. There's an ad, I'll tell that to piss off. Um, yeah, just a basic, simple tutorial. So we went over bevel. We went over the the mirror modifier. There we go. The ad's gone. It's like real life, isn't it? <laughs> Bloody ads popping up. So yeah, we've done a simple bevel at the top. We've done a four edge bevel at the sides of here, the handle. Uh, we've looked at the collection and see we've got the, the light, the cube, the camera in the collection. You could create a new collection, you just right click, new collection. So you could structure things, it's like layers in Photoshop, okay? And then you've got all this shit down here on the right hand side. There's obviously a lot to, to learn with Blender, but I'm just 
going to take you guys through the basics as we go through these videos, but clicking on this spanner modifiers. All right, so don't forget that you've got your mirror modifier there. If you do have um, hard ops or you're wanting to use hard ops, you just actually hit Q and you'd very quickly be able to mirror in a direction visually, you know, that you want to mirror in. So, but that's something we're going to go through in future tutorials is, is hard ops itself uh, and some other add ons that I do use. Okay, and we also looked over object mode and edit mode. So by hitting tab, we were going between edit mode, right click to select, tab, back to just regular object select mode. Okay, object mode. And remember we looked at this, the matte cap, okay, the shadow, the cavity. So that was up here with this down arrow, all right. And this here, we went over some snapping, okay? So we've got that and we had everything selected there. And so you could deselect, just have it on move, have it on increment. You know, I could move this whole object in increments, right? G then X, yeah? G then Y on the Y axis, G then Z on the Z axis, okay? So have some fun guys, enjoy what you're doing, enjoy the process, enjoy your beveling, enjoy your extrudes, enjoy experimenting with the mirror tool. Okay, and this is just the very beginning. So, you know, the fact that you're able to do this after a few minutes, yeah, that's pretty cool. The fact that you could make it look like this, you know, so far, it's a bit of nothing, but you know, it is what it is and see, you we started to create something real and visceral. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, level up to the next level, which I don't know how that looks, but we'll just flow with it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.